Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about parallelograms and we are going to decide whether a given four-sided figure or a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So the assignment is on IXL and 7, it's proving a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. It has the word proving in it but it has nothing to do with uh, proving anything at all. Okay, the first question says, can you show that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram? So in all of these questions, we need to know probably all of the properties of a parallelogram because you're not going to see the exact same question every single time. And parallelograms have over five properties. So maybe we are going to do like four of these properties uh, in the video and then you're, you may end up with another property. But that's not going to be more than one question or uh, maybe two. You're going to see whatever I am doing over here when you work on Excel for N on N7. Uh, but just want to let you know that you may still end up with another property. So in that case, you might want to look up the properties of a parallelogram before you answer. Or you can take a guess and then see the solution and then figure that out and then use that knowledge for the other questions. Okay, so for the first question, uh, it's the most basic property uh, of parallelograms, which is opposite angles of a parallelograms are congruent. So it looks like that's what we have in here. 70 degrees and 70 degrees, these are called the opposite angles because they do not touch each other. They're right across from each other and they're equal to each other. But this is not enough for me to say that, yes, this figure is a parallelogram. I need to also show that the other opposite pair is equal. So let's just figure out the sum of the given three angles and Take it away from 360 degrees because if you remember, any four-sided figure's interior angles add up to 360 degrees. So we have three of these over here. One angle is 170, the other two is 70 and 70. So when I add these together, I get 290, I believe. Let me see. Nope, I wouldn't get that angle. I would get... 250. Okay, so if I subtract this from 360 degrees, the answer is going to be 110 degrees. So the fourth angle is equal to 110 degrees. Now I do know that they all add up to 360 degrees and, and all of the opposite angles are congruent. So this would be a yes. Moving on to the next level, uh, when you hit kind of like 28 points, this is what we get. It's pretty similar to what we just had before this question. So the two opposite angles, one pair is already given equal. All we have to do is figuring out the fourth angle and see if that one is equal to 129. That's what I'm going to do. So I already have 129. There's 51 degrees. There's another 51 degrees. If I add these three together, let's see, 12, 13, and then 231. Subtract it from 360 degrees. So that would be 129. Okay, so it turned out that the last angle is equal to its opposite angle opposite pair which means this is another yes because if we have a parallelogram all of the opposite angles which means in total two pairs would be equal to each other so that's what we have so this is another yes moving on to the next level can you show that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram this is an easy yes uh, it is yes because when we have a parallelogram let's just draw a random parallelogram this does not look like a parallelogram, so let's try to make it a little nicer. Okay, this is a little bended, but whatever. So the opposite sides are equal is one of the properties of a parallelogram. So, like 6 and 6, 2 and 2. This is the property. This is the bare minimum, but it doesn't mean that all of the sides cannot be equal. They still can be equal. 
So what we have on this figure, the two tick marks on each side, let's say each side is 5. The property tells us that opposite sides are congruent. Now that's what we need to check. Like check if all of the opposite sides are equal. Like these two. Are these two equal? Yes. And the next question, are these two equal? Yes. So this is a yes. We can decide this is a parallelogram. So moving on to the next level. Let's see. Before this, I want to see if there's any no question. And then I will do that one to this. Say yes again. Uh, let's see. Okay. There's a no question. Let's do this one. Uh, can you show that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram? Uh, let me see how I want to explain this. Okay. Uh, first off, we cannot assume anything about the opposite angle. I cannot just say this is 112 or the other one is 62 because I have no clue. Uh, what I can do is I can add these two together and then subtract it from 360 degrees. But then whatever I have is going to be the sum of this angle and that angle over here. But how do I know whether this is one degrees and all of the other leftover angles goes in here? Like that could be the case. There's nothing that can limit me from giving any angles, any measures for any of these angles. So that wouldn't help as well. However, this property would help me. In a parallelogram, adjacent angles are supplementary. So they must be uh, the sum of these two angles must be 180 degrees if this figure is a parallelogram. So let's just let's just check that one out. 112 and 62 degrees. When I add these together, I get 174 degrees and it is not equal to 180 degrees. So this would be a no. So I want to still do one question uh, from that level 80 something. Okay, this. Find a value of x that makes this quadrilateral a parallelogram. Okay, we already know that these two sides are equal, so there's no point of doing anything with those two. And if this figure is a parallelogram, here's another thing. These two opposite sides must be equal. So 6x and x plus 65. These two must be equal. So solve it for x. Subtract 1x from both sides. So left side turned into 5x. These are gone. And then bring down that 65 to get the x by itself. The inverse of multiplication is division. So 65 divided by 5 is 13. So x would be 13. That was my question. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all for this video. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you think uh, the questions help you out. And remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications whenever I share another video. Thanks again for watching the video and I will see you in another one.